Hello, welcome to my frequently asked questions. Today I'm answering a common question about non-surgical treatment, radio frequency. What is face height? What is Morpheus 8? Which is going to give me the best improvement? So, in terms of looking at this, well, there's a few things we need to consider. First of all, well, what is Morpheus? What is, radio, what is face type? What does radio frequency actually mean? And then we want to look at, well, let's have a look at a before and after photo. Let's talk about what recovery is with this kind of procedure. Let's also talk about the cost. That's a common question. And what is the best treatment for me? So in answering this, well, first of all, an introduction about myself. My name is Dr. Julian De Silva. I'm a facial cosmetic and plastic surgeon based in London, and I only complete facial cosmetic procedures and I complete surgical procedures such as facelift, blepharoplasty, rhinoplasty, and non-surgical treatments such as fillers, Botox, and of course, radiofrequency and Morpheus 8. So this can never be construed as a consultation for treatment, but this information is meant to guide you, but really you need to see a clinician in order to get the best guidance and best advice for you. So what is Morpheus 8? Well, Morpheus 8, is a brand that really talks about radio frequency. And radio frequency means passing an energy into the skin and soft tissues in order to tighten the skin. And it's a non-surgical treatment and it's really been refined over many years. Going back eight years towards 10 years ago, radio frequency was in the very early stages and you could buy devices that would even treat treat your skin at home and those were not safe devices because there was no control over how that energy was given to the skin and there were some unfortunate patients who actually had too much of their skin um, injured by these devices however Morpheus 8 face tight this technology has really been tested and has been refined so that the machine that delivers the radio frequency is now very safe and it's really a non-surgical treatment in that you recover very quickly after these treatments. So, so first of all, well, what is, what is Morpheus 8? Well, Morpheus 8, what the instrument does is pass fine little needles between two to four millimeters into the skin and then the machine administers radio frequency between the two to four millimeters in the skin. And what this enables is tightening of the skin. And this tightening rejuvenates, the rejuvenates your face, reduces like laxity, fine lines, improves pore size. Um, and because it's very controlled, it doesn't tend to give much in the terms of recovery. Now face tight, well, face light uses the same principle. It uses radio frequency that's delivered to the soft tissues. However, with face tight, there is an instrument that is shaped exactly like this, that is actually passed not on the superficial surface of the skin, but is passed beneath the skin. And what difference that makes is that it's, it makes more of a difference in terms of skin tightening, but it definitely edges more towards surgical recovery in that whereas with Morpheus 8 you can pretty much do everything the next day and certainly within a few days well with with face tight this procedure there's little marks in the skin where this probe is put underneath the skin you need local anesthetic in order to have face tight the local anesthetic needs to be administered um, um, by injection and there is definitely a recovery with this. And I think you really need to have two to three weeks, which is a similar kind of recovery towards like having a mini facelift or small facelift procedure. And this is an example shown graphically where the probe is actually going beneath the skin and it tightens the subcutaneous layer. And it's that tightening that improves um, the skin tightness. So the, the key thing with face type is that it has more recovery than Morpheus 8. It has more swelling, and that's the, that's the common thing with healing. 
Often it can be used in combination with minor surgical treatments such as liposuction. And my personal opinion, it can really benefit younger patients with like a fuller neck. Um, so let's go on to a few before and after photos. So this is a photograph that's been well shown in terms of like media. And this is an image of Judy Murray who had Morpheus 8 skin tightening. And the skin rejuvenation from Morpheus 8, well, it certainly makes a difference. It certainly tightens the skin, improves fine lines, improves pores. But the important thing, in my opinion, is it tightens millimeters. So if you have centimeters of loose skin, well, Morpheus 8 is not going to be really good enough to give you a good result. Um, but if you have relatively mild laxity and there's some loose skin, well, Morpheus 8 can offer a good form of treatment. Um, often the treatment is not just a single treatment, it's given in three treatments, like six weeks apart. My personal preference is when I give it to my patients with sedation, I can give a little bit more energy and then, they're, then they see more of a result. However, that can be more challenging to do under just pure topical local anesthetic. So this is an example of face tight. This is one of my patients where we did face tight under his neck and he's a relatively young gentleman, but his neck was starting almost where his chin was. And so I use face tight in conjunction with liposuction to improve his jawline and, his, and the angle between his jaw and his neck. And this is about six weeks after surgery, so there's still a little um, erythema, a little um, area of skin that's healing. Um, I would expect this to get better really over six to nine months because some of the effect of the skin tightening, well, it's on um, layer, layers of the anatomy that don't tighten instantaneously. They really take a period of months to reach full effect. Well, I think it's important to talk about recovery because recovery in Morpheus 8 and face tight is really quite different. And in Morpheus, well, the main things are mild swelling, rarely you can have a bit of bruising. The recovery for many patients is really the next day, but if you wanted to be more cautious or conservative, you could say, well, have five days to allow the great majority of the swelling to go down. But certainly for many patients, you can do things much sooner than that. The key aspect of this is expectations in that it will make a difference as long as you're looking at millimeters of skin laxity as opposed to centimeters. And often when it's given under topical anesthetic, and by that I mean a cream to numb the skin, well, the cream has an effect, but often it's a limiting factor into how much energy can be used. And often the treatment is given in, a, in, a, in three treatments, six weeks apart. Face type is different in that the probe is put under the surface of the skin. You need local anesthetic in order to have the treatment. And there is definitely a period of recovery and you really need to have two, three weeks to allow most of the swelling to go down. And so I, my opinion is really the recovery from face type is approaching the recovery from a smaller surgical procedure such as a, um, a mini facelift and expectations are definitely key because although it tightens the skin and it's a bit more powerful than Morpheus 8, it can't lift the soft tissues beneath the skin. So if you have, if you have jowls from like facial aging or if you have a bit of banding in the neck from the platysma, well, unfortunately, this treatment, the face tight, only tightens the skin. So it won't lift those layers beneath the skin. What do you need to do to prepare? Well, there's certain things that will help you to avoid too much swelling and bruising. And so before these treatments, radio frequency, you really want to firstly avoid blood thinners such as fish oils, aspirin. You want to take care from the sun for six weeks and avoid um, skin products on the skin. Afterwards, well, you want to use a moisturizer to keep the skin lubricated. You want to use sun protection factor of 30 or above. And you can really exercise from one day after like Morph uh, Morpheus 8. The cost, well, there are a few factors that are gonna influence this. And location, if you're in central London compared to outside central London, that's gonna be a factor. 
if you're having it in, I'm with a surgeon who specializes in plastic surgery, well, that's going to be different to a cosmetic doctor or um, um, injector. If you're having topical anesthetic, well, that can be quite different to having local anesthetic or even sedation anesthesia. So all of these things will influence not only the cost, but the result. Now, if you have um, local anesthetic or sedation, well, it means more energy can be used at the time of the treatment, so it will have more of an effect. If you have just topical anesthetic, well, you're likely to need three treatments to get the very best result. Um, Generally speaking, well, Morpheus 8 in the UK could be anywhere from a thousand pounds to three thousand pounds, depending on exactly the areas of the face and the neck that are being treated and the types of anesthetic and facility that we've been talking about. And face type is generally from three thousand pounds. So, well, in conclusion, well, my tips are radiofrequency microneedling. I think this is an excellent technique and I use it quite often, not just in terms of non-surgical treating patients, but I often use it in conjunction with patients who have facial surgery because I believe it can give them an even better result. The, te the technique and the, the, the machine and technology that has been um, devised by InMode in terms of Morpheus 8, well, it is very safe. It's excellent in terms of recovery, and so I think it's a technology for the future. There have been many devices over the years that have come and gone, but this is one that I, I think will give uh, patients benefit for years to come. Morpheus 8, well, I think this is an excellent treatment because it does tighten the skin. It tightens millimeters, not centimeters, so it's a benefit really for younger people, younger patients. Um, in terms of ethnic skin, well, where ethnic skin is more hazardous for things like laser resurfacing, well, Morpheus 8 and radiofrequency works beneath the skin, so it's actually perfectly safe for ethnic patients, which is a really good advantage. Face type, well, this works below the skin. The benefit is really for an age group that's between 30 to 50, younger people who have mild laxity. This treatment, I believe, well, it depends on the expectations of the patient. And for me, some of the more milder surgical techniques will give a bit more of a result with the same kind of recovery. So I do think there's a benefit for some patients, but there are some patients that are edging towards like minor surgical procedures. And then finally, you need to do your research to find out what is the best treatment for your particular circumstances. So in summary, well, we've talked about what is Morpheus 8, what is radio frequency, how is face type different to radio frequency. We looked at some before and after images. We talked about the recovery after these treatments. And then we talked about the costs. And I talked to you about what my personal experience of face type and, and Morpheus 8 are. So I do hope this information has been useful for you. If you have any questions or topics that you'd like to for me to talk about or discuss further, please do not hesitate to contact me. Either you can call us or you can send me um, a message through my website. Thank you very much for watching. I hope this has been useful for you.